What's going on guys, it's your boy Hammer here with another video for you. Lately you guys have been asking me a lot about how to get your microphone to sound good on your stream or in your recordings, maybe your YouTube videos or whatever you're doing. Um, you've been asking me about like compressor settings and EQ settings and how to get it to sound nice and full but still have that nice high end of your vocals to get everything pronounced very clear. Well, you're in luck guys because in this video, I'm gonna show you guys really quickly how I EQ my microphone and the compressor settings that I use to get the sound that I want out of this microphone, which is my Shure SM7B. However, these settings can be applied to basically any microphone that you guys are gonna use. Probably condenser microphones, maybe the AT2020 or the Blue Yeti Nano um, or the regular Blue Yeti. These settings will work for pretty much any microphone and you can just tweak them to your voice and your mic to make it sound perfect. All right guys, so without further ado, let's jump in. All right, guys, so here we are. For me, I'm using the Go XLR to um, edit my microphone. However, you guys can be using other things, like you could be using plugins in OBS, um, you know, a compressor in OBS or an EQ in OBS. It will be the same exact thing. For me, I use my Go XLR to put the compressor and my EQ settings on my microphone. Uh, it has nothing to do with uh, the Go XLR at all. If you use an EQ in OBS or a compressor in OBS, same exact thing. Um, so first, I'm going to start off here by showing you guys the noise gate that I have on my microphone here. Um, so I have it at negative 47 dB threshold, 36% attenuation, and my attack is at 10 MS, release 200 MS. Um, basically, I would leave the attack and release the same here and then adjust the threshold on your noise gate, whether it's in OBS or in Go XLR, um, to fit your room and your surroundings. I have a fairly quiet room, um, so my noise gate opens pretty easily uh, when I talk. Um, but the attack and release 10 ms and 200 ms is general good rule of thumb to have for your microphone if you're trying to stream so here's where it gets a little complicated um, we're going to get over to the eq so this is your equalizer um, if we drop this down to a more simple eq you see the bass mid treble here it's zero bass boosted mid is boosted by one treble is boosted by two if we open it up and we get a little more in depth here we can see the actual frequencies that we're boosting so for this on my microphone, I'm not touching any of the really low frequencies. Uh, that's like the deep part of your voice, like, you know, the low end of your voice. If I go, uh, that's like the low end, um, like 500 hertz and under. That's what that would be. So I noticed with this microphone that it was fine on the low end. I didn't need to boost anything there. It's actually really heavy on the low end. What I did notice was that it was lacking in the high end. Um, so I actually boosted the high end quite a bit here um, around 4.5 to 7.8 Hertz I boosted those frequencies because I wanted my voice to sound more clear um, And that's why you're getting a more clear sound out of my voice if I drop these down To zero It's a lot less clear and you're getting a lot more boom in my voice But if I bring them back up to what I had them at right there You can hear the difference right away how clear my voice sounds. Okay, so you know, analyze your microphone, talk, record some videos and see, Ooh, is my voice too deep? Is my voice too high pitched? Do I need to add some bass? Do I need to take out some bass? That's what you're going to do with your equalizer. Most likely it's going to look like this, a little bit more simple, and you can do it with this as well. You know, drop the bass down if your, your voice is booming and it's like way too heavy on bass. Drop the bass down, crank up the treble a little bit or drop the treble down, add some mids if it's like too tingy and like sounds very metal. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the most important part. The equalizing of your microphone is what's going to make it sound really, really good. All right, so let's head on over to the compressor. So scrolling over to my compressor, these are my settings for my compressor. So I have it at negative 15 dB threshold ratio, four to one. You're going to want to put that um, no matter what you're doing. Just use four to one ratio. It's a safe bet. I'm assuming no one here is an audio engineer. So attack 2 ms you want the fastest possible attack 2 ms is perfect for it and release 100 ms you could use those two settings generally for any microphone um, i would do that the thing is here though in the go xlr we can add makeup gain if we need to which will crank my microphone even higher um, i don't know if you guys can hear the difference as me adding makeup gain is basically adding power to my microphone i don't need this i think it sounds perfectly fine at zero dbs but if you need it the settings are there um, but like I said, you guys can use these settings even if you don't have a Go XLR. But if you do have a Go XLR and you want to copy my settings and then tweak it from there, it's going to be different for everybody. Everybody's voice is different. Everybody's microphone is different. Um, so you can copy my settings as a general rule of thumb and then tweak them to your voice um, and your microphone and your surroundings. You know, it really depends on the room that you're in and how it's 
you know, how it's laid out, if it's sound treated or not, if it's very open. I have a very open room, which is why this was the microphone that I needed to get. I do have some sound paneling and acoustic panels around me, um, which do help, but I have a very open room. So I needed a microphone that wasn't going to sound too open and too airy. If you look back at some of my older videos when I was using some different microphones back in the day, my voice sounds a lot different. It sounds really good in this microphone with these settings that I've come up with. So that's how to set up your microphone if you have a Go XLR. And if you don't and you want to just use plugins on OBS, there are plugins that you can use, compressors, noise gates, um, EQs. You can download them. They're uh, Reaper plugins. I'm pretty sure they're called. You can go Google Reaper plugins for OBS and you can download them right there. And you can edit these sound settings directly in OBS to make your microphone sound great. All right, guys. So there you have it. I hope that this helped you. I hope your microphone sounds good and strong and full now like you guys want. Um, I hope that, that this was everything that you needed to know. If it wasn't, definitely let me know down in the comments below. I try and answer every single comment. Um, if you have any problems or questions, just drop it down there and I'll do my best to answer it. Um, but if you guys enjoy these videos that I put out, please be sure to drop it a like. That lets me know that I, uh, you guys enjoyed it so that I keep putting them out or keep doing ones of the same type. Um, so drop it a like if you enjoyed this video and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Um, I do videos like this every week, some tech tips, streaming tips, all that kind of stuff. So if you enjoy the content, subscribe to the channel and turn on those post notifications so that you don't miss the next time that I post a video. And if you guys have any questions or you just want to hang out with me live, head on over to my Twitch. I'll drop a link to that down below. I do stream Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. But all right, guys, I'm rambling. So I want you to keep your hammers up in the air. I'll see you next time.